Hurricane season has arrived, but the big question is, where will the storms develop? And a question that we got a lot in the Mid-South, will Arkansas and Eastern Oklahoma, will, will we get a rain from a hurricane or a tropical storm? I'm 5 News Chief Meteorologist Matt Sanders. It's all about placement and how strong the storms are. We're going to take a look at the official forecast of how many hurricanes we're going to get in the first place. And generally, depending on El Nino, where do they form and do they have a chance at bringing some beneficial rain to Arkansas and Oklahoma? That's our dry time of the year. Really the only way to get substantial rain is thanks to one of these guys. Of course, we don't like hurricanes and tropical storms to the loss of life that they uh, bring and then all the destruction and all the costs, the billions of dollars in damage that they do. But one beneficial thing is, is that they do bring in some rain from the Gulf of Mexico and they place it farther inland, which is harder to do this time of year. But when we take a look at the official forecast, we gotta look at Enzo. Are we getting an El Nino summer or a La Nina summer? Well, the past three years, we've been in the La Nina phase. It's been a long La Nina, but we've now broken out of that. We're in an Enzo neutral phase. We're really not in either. But it does look by the end of summer and into fall, we should be more into the El Nino phase. But for much of the summer, we're kind of just in neutral. Maybe a week El Nino, but generally in that neutral phase. So we're kind of average. When we're talking about that, we're talking about the ocean temperatures that are just west of Peru and Ecuador. So the Equatorial Pacific is very average right now, but it looks like the warmer temperatures will come in above average temperatures will start to come in later this year, really into the winter time. Maybe even a super El Nino is gonna be in place, but for the summer, we're in that neutral phase. So what does that mean? Generally neutral phases give us average hurricanes. So think about it this way. During La Nina summers, we get a lot more hurricanes and tropical storm systems. We've been very active the past couple of years. During El Nino phases, we don't get so many. Usually there's not uh, much of an awakening. You get some storm systems, of course, and you get some hurricanes, but it's usually, they're usually less frequent. But when you're in a neutral phase, you kind of get average. What on earth is average? Generally, 12 to 17 named storms. You know how we put a name on every single one once it reaches tropical storm status? We're expecting at least 12 to 17 tropical storms. Now, some of them could become hurricanes. We think five to nine of them could become hurricanes once you cross more towards that 74 and then in miles per hour, and then once you get even close over 100 miles per hour, five to nine of those. So that's average. That's what we're expecting this summer because we're in that neutral phase now. If we were more in the El Nino phase, we might reduce some of these hurricanes. So. Part of the question is how fast do we go into El Nino, but much of the summer will be neutral, so five to nine. But then we decided to take a closer look. What about Arkansas and Oklahoma? You know, ever since 1842, we've actually only had 30 tropical systems sit, the center of low pressure, sit over Arkansas. These are all the tracks since 1842. The blue lines show you tropical depressions, so those are weaker, and the green ones show you tropical storms. We've had sometimes a hurricane that gets into Louisiana, but then eventually once it crosses the state line, the pressure and the winds have dropped enough that it's at a tropical storm status, and eventually they turn into tropical depressions. Now, the 30, the magic number 30, doesn't actually include every time we've gotten some rain from a tropical system. We've had several times where a system sitting in Mississippi and parts of Tennessee to see and it throws some rain towards eastern Arkansas, really not from Little Rock back west to Fort Smith and Fayetteville, but you can get some of those storm systems. What you're looking at, every single line has technically crossed over Arkansas airspace, the center of lowest pressure. We've had 30. So we really don't get one every single summer. Sometimes they get close. And the farther west you go, the chances are even lower. Eastern Arkansas, the chances are a little bit higher in order to get some of those storm systems. But generally, we don't get so many. But we took a closer look at that 30. About 60% of those happen during neutral phases. So what does that mean? We're in a neutral phase for the summer we have a higher chance of getting a tropical system right here in Arkansas and eastern Oklahoma. That's good news when it comes to drought conditions and the dry weather that we get in the summer. It's a higher chance. And when we took a look at all those different tracks, they tended to be more in August into early September. And you can see the peak. The peak is actually in mid-September. So we go all the way up into the peak where we get chances for Arkansas. Generally, you still get a lot of hurricanes and tropical storms in October but most of the times they're not coming towards Arkansas. In the past, they've mainly been in August and September. So those are really dry months for us. So the first half kind of towards the peak and then back in the first half is when we have the highest chance of getting some rain. But this year, because of that neutral phase right there in the middle, not too hot, not too cold when it comes to the Pacific waters, because that influences the Atlantic, we tend to get more rain chances from our hurricanes.